Hello, I'm at the ST stand here at Embedded World 2014. I'm joined by Patrice Amard, who is the marketing manager for the microcontroller division. Let's talk a little bit about the STM32 F3. Now, what are the headlines there? Okay, so we are introducing the uh, family STM32 F3, which is an extension of the well-known STM32 F1. Uh, it's an upgrade of the family. We have created the 301 in line with the 101, the 302 with USB in line with the 102, and the 303, which is the uh, full-featured uh, member of the, of the family. Uh, the family is based on the Cortex M4, so it brings more performance compared to uh, the F1. So what do you mean when you refer to upgrading? The uh, device is able to handle mixed signal uh, issues. Uh, we have the performance brought by the uh, Cortex M4, plus the DSP and the uh, FPU. And we have introduced the mechanism, which is a routine booster that brings a performance up to 90 dimits. In line with this, we have uh, uh, peripherals such as uh, uh, comparators, uh, op amps, ADC 12 bits, uh, fast ADC 5 mega samples per second. And everything is concentrated around the idea that we need robustness and safety. So what's going on with the STM32 F3 series? So in Q1, Q2 uh, this year, we are going to introduce several members. The first one will be a 16K device, 32 pin, a concentrate of performance for a device of its kind, then a 512K byte, in which we can have virtual machines such as Java. And uh, the next one will be uh, introduction of the high-end uh, timer, a high resolution timer with 217 picosecond resolution. So let me introduce to Tobias, working at Big Craze, what he has done with the uh, STM32 F3 to bring the uh, quad capture. Right, Tobias, what have you got there then? Hi, hi, yeah. This is a Crazy Fly non quad copter. It's an open source flying development platform. And it's a ton of fun to learn about quad coppers and also about uh, the SD microcontrollers. Uh, this particular unit here is a prototype we made specially for this event. And uh, it, where we upgraded the, to the F3 series because it uh, has a lot of more processing power. Uh, it also has a, a gyro, accelerometer and magnetometer in a single ship uh, uh, from SD. Well, congratulations on making technology cool. Yeah, I want thank one, you definitely. Very much. Tobias yeah, and Patrice, thanks uh, for talking to us.